Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 17th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had some, um, well, some disappointing inflation data, and then we heard uh, from some hawkish Fed members creating a little bit of pressure here in the market, and we left behind some well, maybe some candlestick patterns that add a little bit of uncertainty into this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, yesterday probably... Um, disappointed a lot of uh, traders out there is that inflation data started to roll in and then we heard from um, some Fed members that were sounding a little bit on the hockey side and that kind of continued even after the bell um, yesterday. So we have a little bit of pressure showing up in the market this morning with selling in Asian markets last night, selling across the board in European markets this morning and also seeing those bears uh, milling around pretty pretty heavily here this morning. Now, as we closed the day yesterday, there was really no harm um, in the market. Um, remember, one day does not make a trend. And although we pushed back, um, we didn't even break the support of this consolidation level here in the Dow. So really, at the end of the day yesterday, nothing had really changed here. But now we're seeing a little bit of pressure here this morning with the possibility that we could gap down below that support level here in the chart. And well, I'll talk about something here in just a little bit. Um, there's some circumstances here that could really, really create some painful moves. Um, um, the possibility exists anyway. Now, um, one of the things we have to remember is the bulls are not likely to give up all that easily. And although we're likely to see maybe a little bit of fear creep up today, keep in mind that we have this little upside trend here in the diamonds that could hold us in um, support. So watch carefully for that. I wouldn't rule out the possibility on this gap down. We immediately see some buyers come in this morning. Uh, we've been seeing that a lot lately. Either we gap down and, and the buyers immediately come in or we gap up and the sellers immediately come in. So watch that carefully here today. Now, um, if the bears were to continue to push on through here um, this morning, well, our next level of support is right down in here across these tops of this little, uh, consolidating area here. And notice that kind of joins up with the support of that um, consolidating area right here. So that could be the next level. And if that were to fail, then um, then things could get a little bit dicey. We could move down into these next levels here in the chart and create some of that pressure here that the markets don't want to see. And you can see this, this area across here is relatively wide, um, but if there is a good level of price support in there, but that would break that, that trend. Now, if the bulls find inspiration, well, here again, I would expect if we're going to push right back up, well, all we can do is look for the top side of this range. And remember, that's going to be an 800 point move um, or so in the market if the bulls were to engage and push right back up. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now, SPY also feeling a little bit of bearishness here this morning, pressing through. We had kind of a shooting star pattern here and obviously the, kind of a nasty reversal, but it's really no change to what we've been seeing here lately. Um, and as um, I mentioned yesterday, if the bears were to engage, this support level is going to be the critical area here in that chart. And this morning we're testing that here in the pre-market. So if the bears continue to push on through and we break the support level, well, that's where the real concern would come in. And then I would suggest that possibility that we could push back into this next support level right into here. And that would be a test back down here toward that um, uh, that downtrend break here in the SPY. So we still have um, that opportunity that we could hold that downtrend break. And then of course, if we look in here, we'll notice that's gonna be right down here 
um, pretty close to that 50 day moving average. So is it possible we sink through that little support area here and then we come all the way back down into that 50 day? I do think that possibility does exist. Will that be the case? Can't say that, but we'll want to watch for that possibility. Now, if those bulls find reason to uh, re-engage here today, and I would expect them to fight back, um, then look for once again, just a rally back up here to test those resistance highs again in the chart. It is entirely possible that if we were to bounce, we could bounce back up here into that downtrend break and create a little bit of a lower high and continue that move down as well so watch that close our qqq i think is probably one of the most vulnerable because we are the most overextended in the short term here on the qqq and if you notice yesterday or, or not yesterday on thursday we had popped up and we kind of peaked out from over the top of that little lower high here in the chart, but that kind of created that opportunity for a little double top high in there. And as you can see, the bear's pushing here this morning, but I don't think anything critical happens here unless we break that support level in the chart right there. So if the bears continue to push, I would look for a test of this level in here. Now that's gonna be a fairly big point move and that could be really painful if you were one of the last ones in the door to buy up some tech stocks. If that were to fail, then watch for some price levels down in here to potentially be tested. And keeping in mind that if that were the case, that's just a pullback here to the 200 day moving average. Imagine if we were to pull all the way back to our 50 day moving average, which certainly could be possible. And that creates that circumstance that I wanted to talk about here this morning. I, I don't wanna suggest that this is going to occur, but I certainly see the circumstances kind of lining up for the possibility that this could occur. So uh, we could see some selling maybe pick up today if that fear really starts to crop up. If fear really starts to come into the market and we're heading into a three day weekend, you could certainly see the circumstances where we could have everybody running for the door all at the same time to protect their profits, protect their capitals, heading into that three-day weekend and the uncertainty of that three-day weekend. And because we are so extended away from these moving averages, we've been so overly exuberant here in the short term, you could certainly see the possibility of selling that could get really intense if that fear really creeps up. In fact, it could be so intense that it would almost resemble like a flash crash possibility of pulling us back toward those um, major moving averages. Now, again, I'm not suggesting that's going to occur, but I certainly see all of those stars aligning for that potential that that could occur, particularly if that hawkish attitude really starts to creep up um, with those Fed speakers today. So watch that carefully. Now, if we take a look at our IWM, IWM, also running into a little bit of a problem we saw that little lower high that created in here and we rallied back up to test that as resistance we had already slipped out from underneath that that upside trend here in iwm and we're seeing just a little tiny push here in the russell the russell's been holding up really strong overall so that might be our saving grace here in the in the market if we continue to hold on in that small cap sector but if those bears were to continue to push look for a price support level down in here to potentially be tested if that were to break then things get a little bit dicey and, and I can see that possibility of coming back here to that 50 day moving average now if um, the bulls re-engage here then right back up here look for them to push us right back into that level let's take a look at our VIX the VIX saw a little bit of fear creeping in yesterday. We bounced off of this low, but I don't think it's, I mean, obviously it's not enough to change the direction of the market. Yet, if we take a look at this downside trend, uh, the bears are, or excuse me, the bulls are still in control of the trend. So I don't think there's any major reason for panic here, but the circumstances certainly set themselves up where we could see that occur, where that panic could really come in. So I would expect with a gap down open this morning, 
we could see that downtrend in the VIX here break to the upside. But remember, that doesn't really matter. We can break those resistance levels for a short period of time. What is required is whether we hold it as a support and push on through. Remember, I've talked about these resistance levels in the chart, and we only are likely going to really see those bears engage if we start breaking through some of those resistance levels here in the chart and holding them as support. That's where some panic could start to come in. Let's take a look at our um, T2122. Now, that has been, um, one of those contentious areas I think here in the market we have so been so exuberant here even in light of bad economic data um, that well that creates that circumstance again where those that tough selling could potentially come in and unfortunately um, if it traps a lot of people long that's where everybody's selling 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 to get out of the way and that kind of cascades and tumbles on itself I'm not suge suggesting that will happen but I do see the circumstances where that could be created so kind of keep an eye on this we're holding above the 50% area here in our T2122 and we all know that T2122 doesn't give us the direction for the market it just tells us those places where we can move if we we find that inspiration. So once again, if the bulls find inspiration, well, look up here. Um, we've got we've opened up a pretty big opportunity. As a matter of fact, in the diamonds, we've opened up about an 800 point opportunity to run back up and test resistance levels in the chart. However, if those bears continue to push on through, well, we also understand that we have that very big downside opportunity that could be created. And if we add in the kind of the over exuberance, maybe the overextension of these indexes, you could certainly see where that could be painful if that starts to engage in the sellers really start to come in. So watch that close. And then if we look at our T2108, I've been mentioning this in T2108, that we've been really overly bullish here. Um, and, and it's kind of a rare circumstance where we could push up through those areas and hold it. Now, the good news here in this chart is we have some support in this area. And again, I don't expect the bulls to give up easily. So you could see some support across here where we could find with this gap down open this morning, see those bulls come right Right back in and engage bounce us back up and maybe hold us into the weekend and that's certainly possible on a expiration uh, option expiration weekend where there's going to be some some of that jockeying going around institutional pinning uh trying to happen to hold prices um to their best benefit here um on the day so watch carefully for that possibility as well um if we were to push on down through some of these levels well that's where we could really start feeling a little bit of pressure and pinch in, in, in um, those indexes that could really bring in those bears or engage them. So watch that closely. I'm going to have to say the same when we take a look at our T2107. Um, I've been mentioning this and we've just, whoops, we've been um, so, talk about it. Got to type the right symbol. Who would have guessed? Um, <laughs> T2107, we see that same circumstance in here where we may have kind of gotten a little bit carried away with the exuberance here in the market. There is some price support in here, as you can certainly see in that chart. So there still is that opportunity that the bulls could grab onto some support with this expiration Friday and, and trying to hang in there. So watch that closely. But if that were to start breaking down, well, that's where we start to really feel, and you know, those bears kind of breathing down our neck a little bit, and um, that could create a little bit of that panic selling. So watch that carefully. If we take a look at our T2101, well, T2101, um, I think is just confused here. Um, we're starting to see these big price swings every single day, big point whipsaws going on in the market. And we're continuing to see that on extremely low volumes. Yesterday, volume was not what you'd expect it to be with that much selling here in the market. Um, it, it seems very, very strange to me. 
And um, that also gives me that inclination that suddenly we could see volume spike in one way or another. And if that volume were to spike to the downside, you could see how that could kind of create that little bit of a cascade selling um, coming into play. So watch that close. Now let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. We are in luck. We have a little bit of a break here on the economic calendar um, with just import export prices to really worry about here on the day um, um, uh, as far as economic reports but we do have um, a fed speakers here and uh, they've been chiming in pretty pretty commonly um, stay in the course and raising interest rates um, and with this new data i would expect that to maybe intensify um, so watch that close here um, as we move forward on the day we do have you know e-commerce retail sales leading indicators quarterly survey but those aren't typically market moving um, um, events. So um, we'll get most of this out of the way fairly early in the morning and maybe kind of set our direction for the day. If we take a look at our earnings calendar, we also get a little bit of a break on our earnings uh, calendar today with uh, quite a few, uh, well, with which much fewer, that's what I meant to say, much fewer uh, market moving reports here today and they'll likely all be here in the morning. So um, let's take a look here at some of these stocks. Um, AM, whoops, um, AMCX, um, we'll be reporting today. Looks like we're getting a nice bullish move in that report, trying to break that downtrend here in the chart. And this nice bullish upside move, I would suggest any rest or pullback now sets up a bullish opportunity in AMCX. Keep an eye on that. Um, we've got ABR. ABR also reporting today. Keep an eye on that. We're dealing with some price resistance here in the chart, but we do have this upside bullishness coming into play and we're breaking out from that downtrend. So bullish report here could certainly continue to hold that and move um, ABR to the upside. We've got an Auto Nation report and boy, we're shooting up here this morning on the Auto Nation report, breaking through resistances, all time highs here on Auto Nation, which again, just kind of says, wow, how can this be happening when um, our consumers are showing weakening and um, we're seeing uh, credit card levels hitting new record highs. Boy, it seems like we've gotten really exuberant in some of these considering the potential of a recession uh, coming in the second half of the year. So watch that carefully, but boy, they're they're buying that up heavily here this morning. And then we have uh, Barnes Group that will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. It's been moving in an upside trend. I will say maybe got a little bit carried away, maybe got a little bit parabolic in the upside of that move. Notice we ran into some price resistance here on the chart. So um, the bulls are coming in on that earnings report. So watch that area up there. Um, that could create that lower high of resistance. Um, so keep an eye on that. We're slipped out from underneath that upside trend right there. So watch that close. CNP, um, CNP reporting today. Watch that center point. Nice pop here in the pre-market. Looks like we're trying to bump up here. We're gonna challenge that downtrend here in the chart to see if we can move on through on that utility. And then last but not least, we're gonna get the report from John Deere. John Deere has been extremely bullish here um, and started to, whoops, that darn tool switched on me automatically. Um, as you can see, we moved in this big upside trend here, um, hit all time highs here in John Deere, and then we've started to fade back here just a little bit. Trying to get a little bit of bullishness going here um, um, in the pre-market, but watch that closely. Could just run into that downtrend here. We've got this price support, so a little bit of a wedging pattern here to be a little bit concerned about. Watch that closely here on the day. Those are the notables for today. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, and click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I do truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone who does do that. Um, 
let's take a look at some of these stocks and please keeping in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you've got to do your own due diligence and remember these are just only ideas and thoughts maybe something you could put on a list but make sure you're evaluating these trades against your own personal risk tolerance and your goals in your trading let's take a look at a couple of these first off um, as you guys know i've been watching amd and i've been holding a small position here in amd and now we've got that little bit of selling coming in that uncertainty coming here into the market so let's watch this price support right in here on amd see if that can hold if that doesn't hold then um, i would say we've got a little bit of a problem here in amd you can see we've got that upside trend but if that were to fail in here we may slip back and come back into a trend kind of in that area here. So that could mean maybe a longer term consolidation or more of a pullback, but watch that closely. We also want to kind of keep in mind that we were reacting negatively uh, to that little uh, trend to the downside here. Shouldn't say little, but that downside trend. So um, reacting negatively to that. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at uh, um, some stocks that moving around quite a bit here. Datadog had an earnings report um, just yesterday and was moving pretty strongly to the upside, but that selling came in all of a sudden reversing it on the day. That's a big, ugly shooting star type candle there on that reversal. But if that continues to hold this price support in here, then I couldn't rule out the possibility holding price support, holding trend that that could come right back up. So keep an eye on that. Uh, DKNG, DKNG, DKNG continuing to push through on its earnings reports. Very, very strong to the upside. Um, buyers were definitely rewarded here by um, just chasing into this ahead of that earnings report. Um, but let's watch here if we could rest or pull back now. Look for that next opportunity in that trade. Something for the list um, to see if we can find that next opportunity into that trade. CRWD, um, I think, has been a really good looking chart. And it's been moving in a methodical uh, fashion, not big herky jerky moves um, in the chart. So watch this. We're resting and pulling back here after a good earnings report. If that holds this support level and holds right in on that trend, then this really could set up that next opportunity long in a CRWD. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at some of the big techs. Um, the stocks like Amazon. Amazon getting a little bit of a question mark coming in here. As you can see, we could you may have to squint just a little bit, but you could kind of see the possibility of a really big head and shoulders pattern that could be setting up here on Amazon. And there's our neckline. If, if, and I, this is a big if, if those bears were to engage here and really start pushing that down, you could see how we could break through that neckline. And if we were to measure from the top of our head to our neckline, and then um, use that for the extension. Well, that takes us right back down to the lows here uh, on the year on Amazon if that were to fail. So keep an eye on that. There could be some problems coming here in Amazon. You'll wanna watch that closely. Take a look at Google. Google also showing a little bit of a a problem here um, in that chart and once again you might have to squint just a little bit but you see that possibility of that ugliness that could be setting up here in uh, Google there would be the neckline so again if those bears were to push um, and break down through that neckline once again we measure from the head to the neckline you could easily see a retest of these lows here in Google so keep a close eye on that with um, bond yields rising we certainly can't rule out that possibility let's also take a look at the u.s dollar u.s dollar um, a lot of volatility here in the pre-market but the u.s dollar has been moving back higher so this is going to create some interesting circumstances in the market as well we're likely to see gold silver materials commodities move lower and um, then um, as that dollar increases and then we're also likely to see those bond yields moving up which as a general rule creates some pressure overall in the market so um, watch that closely you know we've got a three-day weekend coming guys and that uncertainty going into a three-day weekend can create 
quite a little bit of volatility. We also have a, an option expiration uh, day coming into play, and it really all depends on how uh, tenacious those institutions are to try and work to pin prices uh, to their best advantage on the day. Um, so keep a close eye on that. Again, anything is possible, so be, so be very, very careful as we slide into the uncertainty of that long weekend. And I wouldn't rule out big whipsaws and big potential point moves on the day, so trade wisely. I wish you all the best. Have a wonderful three-day weekend, and I'll see you right back here bright and early next Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.